I would give us a C minus overall. Yeah. You don't think so? You can give it higher than that? It's kind of hard. Well, because, there's tears, right? Yeah. It's like, do I want to grade us on uh, effort? And <laughs> <laughs> we really tried. We super tried. That doesn't matter in the we real actually world. We could Shane. not have tried any harder. We tried really hard. We could not. I know that even like I wrote an email today and I was very particular not to apologize in the email. I was like, I'm empathizing with you and I acknowledge the errors, but please know there is nothing more that was possible on this end. Like we yeah. did everything we possibly could. So I apologize if I came up short. I didn't come up short. I went above and beyond. I just learned that my above and beyond is Still not, not that good great. <laughs> <laughs> this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Buy a website, build a website, have an online store and market yourself all in one stunning, easy to use, customizable space that is efficient and awesome. What is your next big idea in 2023? What do you want to make happen? You can make it with Squarespace. And bonus, if you go to squarespace.com slash shambooty, you can get 10% off the purchase of a website or a domain. And you can also get two weeks for free where you can play around and bring your idea to life and then decide what to do with it next. I have kept this seat open for your next big idea. So go to squarespace.com slash shambooty to make it real to make it happen and to make it with Squarespace. We worked on a very big project. Let's just start there. We worked on a very big project this month that was very ambitious. We did an after show. It was an ego check. It was an ego check. It was an ego check and a humbling experience. Uh, we took on an after show uh, for the show Harlem. And uh, it was one of our dream projects, to be honest, because where we want to take this production company is somewhere that is on a bigger scale. Um, but we didn't take into account that we are not outsourcing on a bigger scale. And then also just, it exposed how many areas in our production company that we're just not at that level yet. Um, and that hurt my pride a little bit because I'm like, I thought we were so good. I know, we're and not this, good at all. This made <laughs> us look like amateurs. And be productive and mm -hmm. do something that makes you happy, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Going where? Like, y'all going right now? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, filming the whole let's let's cut the shit real quick. <laughs> it's still good. <laughs> like, let's let's be honest. There is moments. Like, there's moments where you can tell that we are good at what we do. I think it's just a little bit outside of our reach. Yes. So a long yes. form yes. type of content of that is hard for us to do. But if you get three minutes of it, you're gonna think that this is really cool. So I think just long form wise, it was hard for us to pull, pull it together. Um, and the last thing I'll say is that at least I know when we are actually good, because like you were saying, when you can tell when you're bad is when you know you have a, like a realistic idea yes. of how good you, or what you should be working on and where you are at. Well, we took on this project during already my busiest month of the year. Yeah. It's now been your busiest month of the year. Jared was working on, Jared's on a brand new show right now too. I think that it was good, not only for our relationship, but for our business, because it really highlighted where our strong points are, even though it did highlight our weaknesses. Okay, let's play a fun game. Okay. Let's talk about the weak parts and then the high parts. So we'll start negative and then go positive. Okay. Uh, on, 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 on us or the production Maybe it's company. also for you all too who watched the after show. You can play Spot the Mistakes with us. Oh. <laughs> we could start with the cast interviews because I can hit 12 different things that went wrong that day. And then luckily we had an audio person there because if we had to try to mic that, then it would have sounded like episode three. Company is ours. Right. That's what we got. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But my money should just be my money. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And well, that's all my assets. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. That's yeah. what I, I think it's respect. Thing. This is on your microphone. <coughs> how how, how like sound on my microphone? Is it not clicking? It's not clicking. Uh -huh. Then we do the group shot. It's tilted. So then we gotta finagle that and add some weird pink bars to everything. Yeah. My audio. We made it look like artistic flair. But it. 
it would have been artistic flair if we would have put it across the whole episode. I thought about it, but then I was like, this is too much pink. It's too much pink. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Another big flaw, our set was different every time. Welcome to the Harlem After Show. Welcome to the Harlem After Show. Welcome to episode three of the Harlem After Show. No, that's not fair to say. We had set the intention. Ironically, I think this, uh, this experience like made me love you even more. It feels like 1,000%, you got my back, I got your back. I learned a lot off of this, let's just say that. Yeah, I learned a lot too. And let's also just be positive here and say a lot went really well. Yeah. I think the casting of the group chats were incredible. Yeah. We had some beautiful moments in those conversations that I'm so proud of. This is the first time coming out, only my close friends know it. So. I recently got diagnosed, which should have made sense all my life, but I got diagnosed with, I've been on um, ADHD since I was 28, um, but recently I got diagnosed with autism or being on the ASD spectrum. Um, and so navigating that and like learning to drop all the masks um, that I had unknowingly developed to kind of just be in the flux of society and school and upbringing and church, you know, so you're not shunned or whatever. Wow, I, I was recently diagnosed with anxiety and I've known I've had ADHD my whole life, but just trying to navigate how one's affecting the other was very new for me. And so me being able to like open up and talk to my friends and say, yeah, these things are what trigger me and these things, I did the same with this one. These, I, I just, I'll feel this way and not know how to get out of it sometimes. I'm really trying to figure it out and navigate it. Um, it was necessary so that they understood why all of a sudden I went from the life of the party to like, I'm hiding in a corner. Because it's so under talked about, especially in, among, you know, black women and women in particular. It inspired me to have the kind of discussions that I wouldn't have had, like the ovarian reserve discussion. Yeah. I wouldn't have had that conversation so impactful. The um, prenup conversation, which yeah. I actually think we should genuinely go and talk to a lawyer about that. Let's make it happen. I would say... <laughs> 90% don't want to have those conversations. And I have to admit this. I know nothing right. about this area. Right. And I feel like, in some cases, knowing feels like a betrayal. Mm. Do you know what I mean by mm -hmm. that? I'm really, really proud of your directed camera shots. Um, I'm super, super, uh, you know, happy about the social content that we can make out of these things. Um, I really love, the one thing that I really liked about the video overall was the color schemes. Mm -hmm. And also on top of that, I did a lot of learning how to fix mistakes throughout this entire process. You know, there was a lot of mistakes that we, that we thought really cannibalized the entire content. Um, we were able to figure out how to make it work, mm -hmm. which is, I think uh, I'm super proud of us for being able to do that because it just shows us that we're scrappy and gritty when it comes to, to content. I think we could add that to like our like lower third, like shared entertainment, scrappy, gritty, tasteful content. Yeah. What was your favorite episode of the four? Mm -hmm. And then what would you give us grade overall? My favorite episode was <laughs> episode one, <laughs> not because I'm in it, <laughs> Not because I'm in it, but I think that you can feel in the episode one our wide-eyed, excited innocence when it came to the content. His, the, no guy is ever going to yeah. admit that. I mean, I've been in locker rooms. I, been, I played football my whole life. I ain't never get made fun of. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but I wasn't like, yo, Jared over there. He's Jared great. Jared used to shower with a towel on. That's why he never got made no, fun of. No, he did. He showered at home. <laughs> I think the content was amazing. Yeah. I really do. Don't I, separate it though. I, Just go, go. As if you were watching it on YouTube, what would you give the if grade? If I listened to it, oh I would give it an A. If I watched it, I would give it a B. Oh, that's good. It de it's just tricky. I guess it depends on the lens I'm looking at this. Am I looking at this the as lens a YouTuber? where this is a YouTuber or, or a production an company, show. an after yeah. show? I wouldn't change a thing. I mean, I definitely would change a lot. I would change a lot. But I would never in a million years have said no to this job. And I am so glad that we did it. Because even on this month, like, I'm genuinely probably 
three hours a night of sleep for yeah. the past week. And I know I'm, I'm breastfeeding. Um, so I'm give, like my body is very tired. Yeah. You know, I'm just giving a lot of myself all the time. And we, there's like our days of run on sentence. We wake up and we're the kids and then we work from home. We have people who come and then we're in work mode. And then the very second that the people who work here leave, the kids come back home. Yeah. She's tired, guys. She hasn't had any <laughs> sleep. She sounds a little bit spoiled. It's okay. <laughs> she just needs to drink her tea. We probably, we've probably we already ended the video. I don't know why we're here right now. Still. Okay, wait. Let's talk about... Okay. <laughs> Some more time for her to... <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? <laughs> what do you want to talk about? This video was made possible with the support of Squarespace, an all-in-one platform that allows you to build a website that is beautiful, easy to customize, easy to edit, and easy on the eyes. Also to build an online store and do everything. Keep a track of your inventory, make sales, mark down things, everything on one single platform. Also to market your business, especially using their incredible email campaigns, which are affordable and minimal and beautiful and powerful. Squarespace is what I utilize to market myself. And also it's where my websites are housed. So if you want to take a look at those, go down to the info box and click the links. And that's also where you'll find a link to starting your own Squarespace venture. At squarespace.com slash is where you can get the offer of 10% off the purchase of your first website or domain with Squarespace. And it's also where you can try it out for free. Two weeks to see what you can make happen. And when you are ready to launch, which will be in 2023, perfect timing, um, you can get 10% off the purchase of a website or domain at squarespace.com slash Shambuti. I think people look at the way that we show intimacy in a very linear way. And it, I look at it more like a web. There's so many different directions that this thing can go. It's still at the root intimacy. You know, when we're sitting down and playing with Ryu and she's saying new words and doing things and we're doing that together and we're sitting by the fire, like that's stuff that we're just not filming. <laughs> like, like, yeah, so I just, I, I don't take that comment seriously. I, I don't even know what to tell that person, like, sorry. <laughs> don't need your help. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I wouldn't mind your help if you want to come over and watch the kids. And I would say so we can go on a date night, but the real truth is right now, if I had free time, I would go and finish my course work yeah, right work, now. Work, work, yeah. And I would get ahead in a few other things. Yeah, yeah, some work stuff. And I might just look out the window, because that would be fun too. Hey, there used to be a time in our life when I thought I would never hear this sentence from Shan. Which one? I just want to look out the window. One of our like earliest roadblocks was <laughs> Shan just wanted to talk about everything all the time. <laughs> she just wanted to talk. So what are you feeling? How are you feeling? You want to give me a love speech? <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm just like Shan. I like sitting in silence and just watching you and just enjoying your company. I'm only laughing because the love speech thing. And now you understand it. I do understand How romantic it. would it be if this couch was flipped around and we we're looking out the window, looking at the rain, drinking some tea? Not saying anything, just, just holding each other and looking out. Yeah, that is making me misty. It's nice, right? Yeah. Keeping it simple, I need me a tempo to get in a limo and get me a limbo. A dog in the kennel was never my ammo. I play like a fiddle, I don't feel no pain. They get the fame, but that's in the way. Moving the way, dancing the flame. She in a vanity, living a fantasy. Till I'm about to, he can't be contained. White knuckling.